Okay, so hello everyone. Welcome to RV seminar. Uh, today is uh, July 28th. And today we'll be talking about the matching logic in Cork project. So uh, Daniel, you're here. So why don't you give us an overview about this project? So what's the motivation and uh, why? I mean, why do we want to do it? <laughs> right. Hey, hey everyone. My name is Daniel. Um, I am working on this project from Budapest at the Student University. And actually the project started um, at our university about two or three years ago. The, the original motivation was very simple. We wanted to have the ability to interactively reason about K definitions. This, this idea dates back to 2015, where we already had a project on Erlang refactoring. And we were interested in formalizing the language to reason about the correctness of refactorings formally. And at the same time, one of my colleagues was developing the formal semantics of Erlang in K. And I was like, why don't we use this if it's already a formal definition? So we were investigating this, um, this idea. And at that time, we were not really successful with doing manual reasoning with these theories. Um, a few years later, I got yet again interested in doing reasoning um, about K definitions. But at that time, I already had some familiar David Koch. And I was like, what, what, if, we, what if we could integrate Koch into K to enable reasoning about K definitions in Koch? So that was the, the main idea. And we, um, we were fortunate enough to get up with, like come up with this idea, basically at the moment when you and others developed AML. So that was, that was the like- um, Which is uh, this uh, applicative matching logic. Applicative the, the matching logic. The parent yes. of matching logic, which is and the logical foundation of K. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. So that's, that seemed to be a very good and simple uh, logical foundation of everything you write down and specify in the K framework. Mm -hmm. And that came with like the, um, the premise that once you can formalize AML or matching logic in general, matching mood logic in Coq, then you can take your definitions that you uh, write in the K language and turn them into these specifications. And interestingly enough, at that time, I didn't know about core. So I was not aware that the development was already ongoing to take K to matching logic um, in, a, in a pragmatic and formal way. So this is a translation, a translation from K syntax into a logic theory. Indeed. And and I, I think I think at, at that time I thought that this is worth investigation. I didn't really have the resources at that time. So I um at at, at the very beginning it was like my 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 sole idea. Then I found um, at my department. I found students who I basically elevator pitched my idea and they got interested. So um, I recruited some master students to just give it a try whether we can do something about this or not. And I think we were lucky enough to know Simon Thompson, who was in touch with Grigori Rosu. And, and basically, a collaboration started forming a little after we started working on, on this formalization. And um, I think we were about a year into, into this idea when, when UIUC formally contacted us. Mm -hmm. And well, at, at that time, it was not um, completely clear whether we are going to work with UIUC or Anthony Verification, but it turned out that the collaboration is going to build um, around this topic among these uh, these these partners, and I'm I'm very happy that we 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 managed to have this collaboration still ongoing, and it has a great potential, I guess. Right, right. So the big vision is to somehow bring more 
interactivity to the K, to the K reasoning, the K prover, and all the K tools. And uh, by by, yes. by defining defining applicative matching logic in Cox can utilize the Cox interactive uh, theorem improving power to reason about formal semantics of uh, as you said of any languages, right? You said that uh, previously uh, the idea was to do it for one particular language, but then you know why don't do it for all languages uh, in the with K? That's right. So the the whole idea is about getting the best out of both words. So K is is I I still believe that K is a wonderful um, invention as a language for describing languages and a as a tool for working with these descriptions. But at the same time, I I knew that Cook. Is, is something that is going to change how I understand software development in 2015. And I believe that like this, um, like, like theorem proving and machine checked proofs um, will be important um, in, in the area of reasoning about programs and programming languages. Mm -hmm. And that's why I wanted to combine this beautiful expression of programming language definitions with this powerful tool for reasoning so the idea is that you can you can actually um get the best of both words yes so i can think of an outcome of this project is going to basically turn cock into a front end a reasoning front end 4k i can That's imagine true. that i define the formal semantics in k and you know we have all these K tools, which are best effort implementations of uh, automatic reasoning, uh, the K prover, right? So it does things automatically, but uh, so, you know sometimes uh, you know you cannot solve things automatically, and uh, you want to step in manually, you give some manual hints, and that's where the cog formalization can help. Indeed, but at the same time, I believe that this this whole integration and the efforts may come with even more benefits because there may be some Coke users who are not even thinking about using high level languages for describing languages. So they, when they want to do reasoning about systems, maybe that's the, maybe the number one step is that they um, open their Coke development and make an inductive type of what they want to prove things, prove pr pr properties on. And this may be changed in the future. So the, the, the premise that, that our work come with, comes with is that maybe those who were about to reason about languages in Cork, they realize that the, the, the languages or systems they are about to reason about are very easily expressed in K or are already expressed in K. I think that's, that, that would be wonderful. So if like like we did, so you, you you come with this idea that you want to do something with Erlang programs and reason about Erlang programs, and you suddenly realize that you have you already have a definition for Erlang, and then realize that this definition can be um, can be like brought to coke reasoning or integrated into coke reasoning. And then th this gives you a, 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 a proving framework that was not that was not there before. I see, I see. So uh, Cristiano, have a question or comment? Yeah, um, I was just wondering how different that would be because I, I, as far as I understand, you're proposing an embedding of K um, in, into a cock. And I was wondering how different that is from the work that Jan has been developing for, you know, uh, the past year, I guess, or maybe more. Yeah. So Jan, Jan, we are we are working in in collaboration with Jan. So we have we have developers based in Budapest. We have Jan based in Brno, and we also had developers from UIUC. And this is a collaboration basically under the umbrella of runtime verification. And um, I am trying to oversee basically everything, but um, yeah, I think I think 
most recently things that are getting interested interesting because um Ian is actually supervising one of my master students so the collaboration is getting stronger and stronger yep Everett uh, I was just wondering how this relates to the deducti work that Amelie is doing as well, or if there is some relation to that, or maybe they can help each other or something like that. Because if we have matching logic in cock, then maybe the deducti work can take advantage of that existing embedding already or something. I'm not sure. Are you um, the deducti work or? I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't ca catch. Sorry. Um, what what was the the tool or or idea? Uh, Deducti. I think Amelie is on the call. So did, did, you mean Deducti? Sorry, I didn't catch the word. Yes. Um, we are already in touch with Emily. Okay. And we are. I actually. I am trying to pursue even more close collaboration with them. So I believe that um, the this the, these efforts. I mean. This is not my idea, this is Grigori's idea, that if there are projects running in parallel on formalizing matching logic in one system and other systems, they have to collaborate and at least learn from each other's mistakes or maybe find how the one approach can like um, extend or, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I mean, you, you for for matching logic in cock i guess you need to make a deep embedding of matching logic in cock and i think amelie needs to make something similar for i think right now there's a shallow embedding but there needs to be made a deep embedding or something maybe amelie can say she's on the call um so maybe you guys could use the same deep embedding or something i don't know but i think I the underlying know. system yes so, huh? so the underlying systems are different and i think the the standard libraries you have for different systems suggest different embedding styles i may be wrong but um even though you are even though we are talking about deep embeddings we believe that we can reuse from the host systems as much as possible we don't want to reuse the the i mean we we don't want to do shallow embedding to reuse the existing logic constructs in coke but we would like to reuse the facility as much as possible, which is going to determine uh, the design decisions. And the same goes for Emily. But unfortunately, I don't know deductive enough to tell how different the solutions are going to be. But I'm happy to have her talking about this. So how is it related to the matching logic proof checker? You mean the the cock formalization? Uh, yeah. Right. So this is a good question and actually related to Emily's work as well because I I understand deducted to be a a a very um um like trustworthy proof checker, but obviously uh, the the the, well, the also has a proof checker a type checker. Yes. So. I, I, I believe that um, the work that has been going on regarding the matching logic proof checker is is going to be important here um, in, in, in the aspect of our work too, because we are not, well, primarily we are not using Coq as a proof checker, but as a tool for um, doing interactive proofs. So in the future, we plan to connect these two projects such that when you when you manage to do an interactive to to complete an interactive proof and in the end ultimately com, com, uh, to compose a proof of a uh, of the validity of a pattern you you should be able to have that checked by the official matching logic proof checker so we we do have um we we actually have a a like a task or a work package specifically to connect these efforts so the the matching logic proof checker is based on a meta math formalization and i believe that the proofs that we like the proof terms that we create within coq can be expressed as proofs in meta math so that this increases the trustworthiness of this whole tool chain 
even more because on one hand, the cook proof checker is going to check if the proof is valid, but after that, you can pass it to an even more dependent proof checker. I see. Yep. Uh, Jan? Yeah, so half a year ago, we did uh, with Lucas Pena, who was like a collaborator of, of us at the time, we created uh, or we developed a tool or yeah, basically a tool which allows us to extract cock proofs to Metamat, but it worked only for proposition of, for the proposition of fragment so far because of the difficulties uh, related to the two representations that we use. Like uh, meta, the Metamat definition of AML uses a different style than uh, for representing binders than we do in Coq. So that's uh, that's an obstacle to be to be overcome, but but we have a prototype which works for the propositional fragment already. Okay, yeah, I think we covered a pretty good uh, overview of the project. And since uh, we, we talked about this proof, uh, you know, the translation from cock proofs into uh, MetaMath proofs, uh, so. Yang and Daniel, why, why don't you give us um, some, um, you know, what's a, what's the current status of this project and what have we done on that? Right, so in, in high level terms, what we have achieved already is literally a deep embedding of AML or matching logic in the code proof assistant. And we managed to mechanize the proof of the soundness of the proof system of matching logic, which is a very important milestone. So it's a deep embedding, meaning that uh, we define the syntax of matching logic patterns and its proof systems in Coq. Indeed, as an inductive yeah. type, yes. And so uh, we also define the models, the matching logic models in Coq. Yes, and all these are data in Coq, which we manipulate. And we managed to prove the soundness theorem, which says that every theorem that is derived using the proof system is valid in the model. Indeed. Yes. Um, so this, this theorem already had a paper-based proof. So the contribution here is the mechanization. So that a proof that was believed to be true is now proved to be true. Yes. And um, so, so th this is one step. I think this demonstrates that what we did enables to do meta-level reasoning so that you reason about matching logic in Coq. That is nice, but the long-term goal is to reason about matching logic theories so that um, you embed the, the matching logic theories into your um, matching logic in Coq embedding. You express the theories as sets of axioms, and you, you employ some notations to make the patterns readable, and then apply within Coq, you apply the proof rules to accomplish reasoning about matching logic. Now, this sounds to be simple, but in like with this row embedding, this is not this doesn't scale because your, your proof obligations in Coq become ugly and huge. So we need to develop like facilities for supporting carrying out machine logic proofs within Coq. Mm -hmm. And for this, we are working on um, a lot of derived proof rules that can be applied directly to matching logic um, goals of syntactic consequence to simplify the reasoning. And also, Jan has been working extensively on creating a whole proof mode, which allows you to have um, of, of, uh, an implication pattern, have the premises separated from the conclusion, and give you the impression that you are actually looking at your hypothesis and your goal, just like you do it with your Coq proof mm -hmm. goals. And that makes reasoning about matching logic theories a lot easier 
So we are, we are. In practice, the theories are huge, right? Because entire form of semantics are going to be the theory. This is not um, the, the. We are not there yet. So you are right. This actually this only demonstrates that we will be able to provide support for this kind of reasoning, but like actually bringing the K definitions to cook and make the user face those patterns that come out of the definitions of K, it's, it's gonna pose new challenges. We are not there yet. We are actually experimenting with a tiny, tiny little K definitions. We use the, the built-in support for exporting those to um, theories in core, like um, the, the again this extended, extended logical foundation of, of the K framework, and we are trying to mimic what would happen if we took those matching logic theories in Coke and try to reason about them. Now it is it is obvious that um, this method is 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 working for small and um, easily handled uh, examples, but we will have to come up with smart tools for enabling actually this is not about enabling this is about abstraction and uh, hiding of the details that are not related to the uh, validity of the pattern so that will be a big challenge to like make the user experience such that they are working with with these proofs just they they would do it on paper and they they when, when they sketch up the structure, structure of the proof, they have to have the same experience that they are, they are focusing on what matters and they are not, um, they are not given the, all the noise around the, the main theorem that they are proving. This, this, is, this is an important technical challenge indeed. I see. Okay. Uh, yeah, Anna, any questions or comments? Um, so, uh, core is based on matching new logic, and uh, I understand that you're working with applicative matching logic. Do you have a tool which transforms core into an applicative style uh, term and pattern definition, basically? Um, I'm not sure if I understood the question, but um, as far as I, I think, I think um, the question is about how to um, how to express the K or core definitions in, in vanilla matching logic. So we, we don't have a tool for that yet, but we plan to implement, design and implement a solution to bring those, like bring those, those theories of, of, uh, of core theories into Coke in a way that remains um readable and maintains the abstractions that k and core introduces 